Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here and sit down with me. Get yourself something hot or cold to drink, whatever you like. Open your Bible up. We're going to study today Psalm 93, beginning verse 2. Just verse 2 today, actually. So this psalm, five verses long, this is about the majesty of the Lord. This uh, psalm goes hand in hand with lots and lots of psalms, but principally uh, Psalm 47, Psalm 92 and 93, or is it 97 and 99? Yeah, I think it's 97 and 99. And so we understand that this is a principle of worship, that we're going to celebrate who God is, And yesterday we looked at verse 1, and God is clothed with majesty. So again, the majesty of the Lord, this is our theme. He is clothed with strength, so majesty and strength are parallel. He's girded himself with the same, and established the world so that it cannot be moved. So we see his majesty and his strength in creation, but now we're going to see something different in verse 2. Let me read verse 2 for us. Thy throne is established of old, thou art from everlasting. So now we go back to this idea of the world is established, it cannot be moved, but God is before that. He is established of old. So the world is established, but the throne is also established. But the throne was not established when the world was created. God did that sometime you know, recently, (laughs) comparatively speaking, the throne was established of old. So long before the world was created, God's throne is established. Thou art from everlasting. Now we know what of old means. It's everlasting. From the vanishing point in the past to the vanishing point in the future, God is still there. He is in both places at the same time. He is ancient. He is eternal. There is no beginning for him. There is no end for him. So when we say, thy throne is established of old, you are from everlasting, we're saying that it's eternal. And we really have a hard time, don't we, wrapping our head around that. Because when we use the very language to establish something, and the Hebrew word is a very common Hebrew verb that's used here, to establish it, 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 we think of it in a moment in time, don't we? You, You establish something. You... You dig a a hole in the ground and you plant a post in it. And you establish that post in that spot. And it's going to remain there for as long as that fence or whatever it is that you're building is going to be there. But the fence or the building won't be there forever. And so from the time that you establish that post to the time when that building is torn down and that fence post or that foundation post rots away, that's how long it'll be there, but not God. He is established forever. In this world, he has established it, but it's going to fade away because he's designed it to do so, but not yet. It cannot be moved until God says it's time. So, you know, all this talk about global warming and, you know, the world's going to catch fire and everything's going to be destroyed and all that. Listen, friends, that's in God's hand. He's told us very clearly the world is established and it cannot be moved and that basis is on the fact that he is from everlasting so we have his word on this matter god is of old his throne is established of old he is from everlasting now if you'll join me tomorrow we're going to look at verse verse 3 and we'll connect verse 3 with i think some interesting places in the book of revelation in the book of jude we're going to look at that tomorrow because we're going to talk about the floods so we've talked about the world the throne, and now we're going to talk about the floods, and we'll I'll identify tomorrow uh, what the floods are all about. So I hope that you'll join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.